can you talk about the, the conditions today versus yesterday and, you know, how it, how it worked for you? Yeah, it was definitely uh, more difficult. I thought there was a little bit more wind during my round than I had yesterday out at uh, Monterey. Uh, course is probably a little bit more difficult as well, so combination of those two things made it a challenging, challenging round. You, you kind of not had a great beginning of the season. That was someone told me that. So, what? How do you look at why this week so far you've had such a such success? I know the work that I put in. Uh, I trust my team around me, and the way that we saw is that it was going to be a matter of time. If I. Uh, kept working our plan that we had made, that good things would come. Yes, uh, the beginning of the season hasn't been good. It's been a kind of rough last uh, 18 months almost. So uh, I'm very fortunate to be in this position today and this week. Uh, and no, it's just, uh, you know, part of a long climb back. The, the plan, when did you implement that and what what was it exactly? Oh, it's, it's uh, just the way we go about our business. The way we go about our business, the way we treat ourselves, myself, uh, and those in the team, um, and starting from the foundation, building it up from the bottom, and uh, like I said trying our best not to skip any steps or look over anything, and slowly put together uh, what we feel like is a you know a, a way back to uh, good golf. Were you watching the leaderboard at all? Yeah, mm -hmm. hard not to. What how, much, how much attention, I mean, did it get into your head at all? No, I mean, you, you know what's happening when you got cameras following you around. You got <laughs> boom mics, you got things going on. So it's uh, kind of does that for you. You don't really need to check too much. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to uh, try to play good golf today. It was, like I said, it was tough. One of our colleagues looked at your record and very quirky. If you go back to Bermuda, and then the RSM, and then all the, you played 11 different golf courses in your last 11 rounds. <laughs> Sounds right. What, uh, what's your favorite of those 11? Say here. <laughs> Tough what, to beat. It, it's different. Um, does it? Does what, it, what is different exactly? That you've played all those different courses. Oh, yeah. It's uh, just the way the season breaks. Uh, the um, beginning of our kind of a uh, spring season, I guess, here on the West Coast. It's just, it's busy. Uh, I didn't play Sony this year in Hawaii, but started at Palm Springs, and it's, it's the same for everybody. Um, if, because I didn't play in Sony, that, you know, makes it a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more, uh, more courses and fewer rounds. You know, we're professionals. We do our best to try to uh, approach each round as a, it's, you know, its own, own event. Harry Higgs was in here earlier and he talked about the fact that he starting to learn or trying to learn how not to beat himself up. Are you are you of that same mindset? Is that part of your plan? I don't think we could ever be our own friend enough out on the golf course I mean, on the golf course and in life in general. Um, the it's one of those just always learning, always trying to be a better friend to yourself, be a better person to yourself. Um, it, not, not necessarily something that I was concerned with, that I thought it maybe was too hard on myself, but rather look at that as something or just always to, uh, always to work on, always to keep an eye on. When you talk about your plan, how much confidence do you gain out of some these first two rounds versus any other two rounds? Because you know that you're kind of step, step, stepping up to doing different things or better things. I take more confidence in the work I put in day in, day out, rather than these two rounds, to be honest with you. Uh, the consistent nature of which I've been working and um, been communicating with my team, that's, that's what you know, great, great individuals, great programs are built on. And uh, no reason to value these two rounds more than the, you know, Lord knows how many hours I've put in in the last, uh, you know, last 18, 18 months or so, trying to get back to a position where you know, I'm competing on the uh, on the golf course. I get one other. Well, I guess one other thing. The 18 months you kept. You said 18 months twice now. So, was there a seminal moment where you just said, "Okay, we can't keep going this way"? Uh, no, I had a, a family incident, and uh, 
not super ready to talk about it. I mean, it was, I withdrew from the 3M Open in 2021. Dad was really sick. It's about all I really want to get into at the moment. But it's been a, been a long, long, <laughs> long year and a half since then. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Okay.